Tommy Invitational Tournament. Yeah, the, the shit. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Oh. Roll it. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, hey. Thank you. There we go. I appreciate y'all showing up. Uh, there again, like to give a thank you to Rodney. Uh, I don't believe he's around, but uh, the general manager of the country club allowing us to come here and tie up his course for a little over half a week. We, uh, I feel like we had a successful event. You know, as always, when you come to a close, you see things that need to be improved and changed. But, um, you know, I feel like this event's going in the right direction. I really hope we can keep it, it rolling along. Uh, if, if we have any locals here next year, we could really use some local support. I would, I have a goal next year. I would like to get involved with the school systems in this area. I think that's real key on getting some public involvement. Uh, I, we had a lot of casual spectators this weekend too, which, you know, I think is a huge thing for disc golf and, and something very important with what we have going on here. If you guys love what we have going on, spread the word. Um, there again, if there's something you aren't happy with or, or, or you're concerned with, we want to be approached and we want to know what's going on so we can make it better for you guys. We aren't going to say, I'm not saying we're going to do whatever you ask and we're going to make change, every change you want, but we'll look at things and, and try to make it the best thing we can have out here for you. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to the advanced guys first. We have three, we're paying out three deep in the advance as far as the way the trophies go. Coming in third, Mitch Dickens, 186, gets a trophy. Ditch! Thank mini basket there. I don't think the mini's yours. Um, James Spencer, 185. Yeah, James. And Jake McCoy, where's Robert? Yeah. Is he still here? Uh, Jake McCoy wins Jizz Catchers 4. And I thought it would be appropriate to give away these hats to first place too. You know, they look goofy, but in that sun, they're tight. And in that qualifier, Robert Leonard has something to tell Jake. Yeah, so we had our North Carolina USCC qualifier uh, this weekend. It was performance based. Basically, everybody competed against themselves. And uh, the person who beat themselves uh, the most, uh, that didn't come out right. <laughs> he's, he's young, it's possible. Uh, everyone, everyone, had a project, everyone had a projected score, and uh, Jake was actually our winner. He beat his projected score by 17 strokes. So uh, Jake will be representing North Carolina at the USCDC this year. Thanks, Dad, for the money to pay. <laughs> All right. Big sponsor. Uh, uh, open division, our master division, we're paying out four deep larger events like this. I stick with the 40% payout to just, uh, I guess, make the cash end of it a little bit better for the people that worked their way into it. Uh, maybe push the metal a little bit in you guys. I mean, just more incentive to drive harder and maybe take some risk to make some things happen. Uh, last cash in the master division coming in fourth, Brian McCree, one seventy nine. Of course, thanks to Chuck for doing what he does here. And everybody that has anything to do with this place and, and to getting it, and, you know, where we can come out here and where disc golfers can do their thing at a place like this, I think is really special. I truly appreciate whoever allowed us to do what we do. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was, uh, it was pretty rough on the place, but I thought we were pretty respectful, and uh, I, mean, I think they like us, and it feels good. It's nice to be able to come to a place like this and do it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Coming in third, wondering what he would have done on Friday in pro. Rich Burnett, two hundred fifty dollars. You know what he did this weekend? Mitch running. Man with the short speech. Thanks, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Ha ha! What the car?
Howard. Coming in second, Matt Peckham, $300, shooting a 172. about oh, full. Get, oh, yeah. well, <laughs> guys, it's nowhere near full. Don't worry about pre-registering. <laughs> <They>, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. When is registration closed? Yeah. Uh, pools are going to be assigned Thursday, and then after that, I mean, you can show up day of at your course, but you got to pay attention to where your division is going to be. Just shoot me a text or email or Facebook or oh. something just to let me know you're coming. <laughs> yeah, go totally against the grain. Four Thank you, Robert. Just four rounds. It's fun if you've never done it. Yeah, Casey, you know, 30 turns to get people in one thing, and then Robert's got to change it for me. Screw it all up for the next six months. Love you, Robert Leonard. Thanks for the help today calling out the scores, too. Last cash in pro, shooting a 170. Andrew Wilder and Stephen Miller, 140 bucks apiece. Miller? Steve Miller? Oh, yeah, I got it. That's one spot. He had a long drive. Check these out. Uh, coming in way down the line, Brad Ramsey, $150, shooting 167. Hey, I, I would like to say thank you, though. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the weekend. I still play a lot of well, I don't play a lot of events. I might be playing a lot of events, but those that I do play, I definitely, uh, you know, I want to remember and definitely uh, I want to enjoy as much as possible. And from from the golf to the event to the the activities outside of it to the place here to stay, it was just fantastic. So I, I definitely appreciate it. Love the yeah. yeah. Tide. Tied for eighth, I guess. Casey Davis and Cam Todd, 175 bucks a piece. <laughs> Good shooting. Ronnie Huffman, 164. Thanks to some correction on other people's part, $200. <laughs> Barry Schultz coming in seventh, shooting a 163, 240 bucks. Uh, you know, guys, Barry's not here right now, but man put a lot of work into it. <laughs> so cool on Barry. You know, I, I think he's a little disappointed, but you know, he he did it for for the way he shot all weekend, 
and how much work he put into it. Really, really amazing weekend. I mean, he was right there in the dance with the exception of one hole, I guess. So hats off to him, and I hope I got his help again next year. <laughs> Coming in fifth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also, you know, while I'm thinking about it, Dave McClellan out there pulling flags and breaking down baskets. Justin Bradford. Um, we had uh, Justin Monroe. There were a few other of you guys that broke down the AM course for me in an hour. I I'm going to be out of here in about an hour and a half, guys. On something like what's going on today, that's unprecedented. This is five hours worth of work. So all those people helped out. Thank you very much. Woo. Um, you know, let's, let's remember the sponsors. I know for most of you guys, Southern Pines is out of the way. Hold on to your caddy books. When you come through, stop by these places. So pies. Uh, give Justin Bradford a holler if you're in the area. He'd love to play some disc golf with you. The man put 400 bucks up to the event. Scott Ooh. Thomas. <laughs> Scott Thomas, I hope you know if he's still here, but you know he did a lot to help me secure sponsorship. Justin Monroe. Um, you know, it's without without all this extra money, we wouldn't be writing these big checks today. So remember those guys and support them. If they don't see the support, they're not going to keep doing it. And it's if you haven't raised money before, it's the hardest damn thing to do for disc golf. They say running a tournament's hard, going out and getting the money is ten Amen. times harder. Yeah. So you know, support them. We'll keep getting it. Michael Johansson, three hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> Thank my sponsors, Discrest, Spike Heiser, Sister Blake. Awesome. Tied for third, Nate Sexton and Zach Melton. I think some people need to be looking at Zach Melton. That's a man. Who's going to be And of course, Nate Sexton from Oregon. Nice to have him in the North Carolina ranks. Great question, I believe. <laughs> I just want to thank Chuck and thank the Country Club for letting us come out here and just say thanks to everybody for welcoming me to North Carolina. It was great to meet everybody and come out and play some tournaments. I'll see you guys at a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I just want to say thank to Chuck, man. He made sure I was able to get in, made sure we had somewhere to stay. He didn't have to do that. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Zach. Yes, Zach. <laughs> Coming in second, shooting a 158. I was, it was Tight. I mean, if you guys looked at the leaderboard today, I think we had about three strokes between fifth and first or something like that. I mean, it was it was tight. Terry Gallops. Uh, I think him and Jeremy Cole started playing about a month apart, I heard yesterday in some casual conversation. To the wire, 700 bucks coming in second, 150. Everybody think Chuck. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Hopefully bring the, the family next next year. This is awesome. You know, where can you have everybody and hang out and, and have a good time? And then you wake up, however, you know, five minutes for some people and, and go play. Uh, I want to thank Innova, Spike Heiser, Heiserfoot, and Marty and them for coming out and doing what they do. Thank you, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Coming in first, shooting a 157, winning $1,000. The trophy and the hat. The hat. And the hat. I think this is the thing, man. This is the cup. The you know, the, the, uh, what the Masters has a jacket. jacket. You got the hat. We got the hat. <laughs> there you go. Jeremy Cole. somewhere that you're having a really good time and you're having really a lot of fun off the course and then you come to the course it just makes it so much easier in the last two weeks two weeks I've had an incredible place to stay and I've stayed with great friends and we've had a lot of laughs and um, Bill and Laura put us up they live in the neighborhood it took us about 30 seconds to get here from the house and it's just it just puts you in a really good place and so um, that right there just helped out a lot and uh, so I really want to thank them for uh, their hospitality and um, I really got to thank everyone that had 
anything to do with all the work it takes to get out here. I mean, to get on a golf course this nice, to have it for a whole weekend, to have this golf, have the, the privilege of playing on a golf course, to have golf carts, it's just, it's great. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, um, you know, I just, I'm really honored to, to win this tournament the same weekend that Chuck was called the, uh, the NC, the TD of the year. It means a lot to me. So, Thanks. everyone give Chuck another round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I just want to thank my sponsors, uh, Prodigy Disc, Dynamite Disc, and um, and Do Squad Disc Golf, and uh, just thanks a bunch, and I hope you guys support me. I'm going out to Europe tomorrow, and I'll be thinking of all my North Carolina people out there, and and I uh, can't wait to see you guys at the next Spike Hazard event. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say thanks to everybody for coming. Thank it's you. Awesome to have this party in, our, in your backyard, and uh, it's a nice backyard, and it's nice that everyone shows up. So keep coming back to all your friends. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thank you, buddy. Tell everybody. Hold on. Let's drink. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.